Hey there, Sapienites. I love using a good game to nerd out about astrology, mythology, and world building. I like Age of Wonders a good amount so far, although it has its limits, and I certainly run into them here when trying to make factions based on the 12 zodiac signs. I have a few mods installed, actually, to give me a few more flavors, tomes, and customization options. I can link my own mod collection in the description. If you're a modder or have mods you think I might like, feel free to suggest them in the comments. I really could use some more mods in this game. I'm surprised that they're not they're not more, honestly. One mod I have is the 12 player map mods so that I can actually play with the 12 factions of the Zodiac that I create here. I actually started a few campaigns with them before, um, before making some tweaks before this video actually. And I'd be happy to upload some narrative let's plays in the future if enough people like this video. Another mod I'd like to mention before we start is the Starting Racial Transformation mod. Since I'd like to give each faction some additional direction for their aesthetic, in the base game they tend to take all kinds of paths away from where I wanted them to go, you know? So here's a list of, of all of those before we get started just so you can see what the options are. Without further delay, let's start, as always, with Ares. For Ares here, I started out with Human, uh, Nightmare, Mounts, and Ferocious, which makes sense. Of course, they're Barbarians. There's really no question there. Uh, they got Ruthless Raiders I put in there, and then for their, their Racial Transformation, I ultimately decided on Kiss by Flames instead of Infernal Spawn, because the Dragon thing is not necessarily what I was going for. Of course, Pyromancy here. I really couldn't go any other way. I will be always choosing Wizard King. Here is Agmar, the leader of Ares. I actually based him more on Agni than, I guess in the intro you can see it was more based on Mars or uh, Ares. I named him Agmar, um, based on like Agni and Mars, all in one persona. Let's call him Fire Lord of the Martians with an S. I load these up in game just to see what they end up looking like. Check him out. Okay, so he's almost got a burn on his skin. I thought they would actually be in flame, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. It does change the colors a bit. I, I guess he still has red, black, and, and a gold color. I really wanted that golden, bright color to be there. I don't know how there's trees next to a lava lake, but okay, makes sense in Ares' world. Next we have Taurus. And I went with humans again, tough defensive tactics. I kind of thought about dwarfs with this one, Not so industrious, adept settlers. And then we have to do Chosen of Gaia, one with nature. I was thinking about the Tome of Rock and the Tome of Roots, and because of another choice I'm going to make, I'm choosing Rock for Taurus here. And here she is. I based her on Gaia, clearly. As for weapons, I feel like maybe this orb is the closest. Maybe it's like the heart of Gaia, the heart of the world. Earth Mother is already named here, uh, quite fittingly. In-game, yeah, that Gaia thing looks real cool with all the all the stuff growing on her and all the soldiers. I don't know about the metal steel shaper unit thematically, but it's the limitation of a game, I suppose. I would like it if they had bulls or cows that they could ride, but again, the game's a little limited at this point. Mod it, somebody. Next we have... Gemini. They got quick reflexes, adaptable. They're the only one I'm gonna make mystic. I think it really hits their aesthetic. I couldn't decide on any race transformations. They all have a little too much lightning in them, and as we'll see, another character will have more lightning. Same here, um, warding seems to be the strongest vibe for Gemini. I considered astrology, and evocation, but again, the lightning, so I chose warding. Here he is. I based him mostly on Hermes. 
uh, Mercurius. This is the faction I would be playing as, as Curious here. I'm going to call him Windlord, and he's of the Mercurians. In game, unfortunately, it looks like we spawned in not a very pretty region. I suppose it's probably really windy there. Let's see. Yeah, this staff has electrical energy. I wish there was just pure wind energy, but I suppose that's the later tome, the tome of wind. I like the scribal aesthetic of the mystic culture. Next we have Cancer. I went with unicorn mounts and arcane focus and elves. I was considering all kinds of things, but ultimately I think barbarian is best because they're more associated with nature and animals and wilderness. I decided on astral wanderers as the race transformation. I was considering Amazonian, but I mean, just being big isn't necessarily what that means. I was thinking more of like the natural thing. I settled on Tome of Beasts for the same reason. And here she is. She's like Artemis, but a little bit of that white-haired Luna, Selene look to her. So I called her Lunara, Moon Mother, Lunarians. In game, I think they look really good. I really like how the rainbow aesthetic kind of shows through the ethereal, see-through lunar look to them. It's interesting because the barbarian background in combination with this ghostly look is exactly what I was going for. I want them to be natural but also a little bit more lunar. I love the way that rainbows spurt out when you run around with the horses. Next we have Leo. So Leo I decided was human, hardy, and tenacious. They're of the high culture. Chosen uniters I think is good for them makes sense and then anointed people they got the tome of zeal i thought it's possible to be the tome of faith but i think zeal is honestly more compatible with them here he is he's kind of based on lucifer and apollo he's got a bow and let's call him sun lord of the luciferians uh it could be solarians too so in game I'm honestly a bit disappointed how they turned out, because they're not glowing. I thought anointed people would make them kind of glow, but they're kind of just normal looking. Uh, I think if that aesthetic had been there, it would add a lot. Next we have Virgo. I went with fast recuperation, adaptable, human. I decided on feudal because they're more kind of grounded in farming and agriculture and such, also adeptive settlers. I went with forest wardens uh, just to give them that kind of green color, a good complement to the orange and the red, kind of in contrast to Taurus. And similarly, I gave roots to Virgo uh, and gave Taurus rocks. Here she is, Syria. She's based on Ceres, Demeter, Rhea, Cabele, basically all of the agriculture goddesses in history. She ended up having quite a Celtic look to her, which I think is pretty cool. I would like her to have had maybe a small scythe or sickle. The druid kind of looks cool, maybe, but then uh, she's a little too much like Gaia, I think. So... I decided on a shaman. She's queen of the Syrians. Loading it up here. I think that leaf skin looks really good. I've seen it in the game a few times before. I actually really like it. That unit looks really cool. It looks like they lost some of my color, which I don't really appreciate. Uh, this race transformation is changing my color schemes. Maybe they can patch that out or something. Next we have Libra, and I decided on Resistant and Arcane Focus and Elves. I think High Culture is perfect for them. I decided on Devotees of Good for like the whole Justice Scales and Righteous Ascended. I decided between Tome of Zeal and Faith to go with Faith, opposite to Leo really. 
here she is. She's based on Sophia and Justitia and Daiki, the justice goddesses of Greece. And I was thinking maybe a tyrant sword and shield would be better for her. I think it's available from one of my mods. So let's call her Dawn Mother, since Venus is associated with the Dawn. We can call them the Venusians or Venetians. Alright, look at this. Wow, they've got some big beautiful wings. Unfortunately, it changes my silver aesthetic for them to gold. Gold, I think, works better for Leo. Silver, I think, is more Libra. Again, the game seems to bypass my aesthetic choices, but they end up looking pretty cool. Since Leo doesn't shine, it seems, with anointed people, maybe I should give him some wings too. And look, Aphrodite's on the beach. Next we have Scorpio, Spider Mounts, and Elusive, I think is fitting. I made them elves as well. I decided on the Dark Culture, I gave them powerful evokers, and I think Eternal Ones makes them look too dead. Mortal Terrors is more subtle. It just kind of darkens them. Definitely siding on either Witchcraft, it's from a mod, but I think I'll go with Souls. It's the most straightforward one for Scorpio. And here she is. I based her on Styx and Tethys and Nephthys. She also has a bow, and that comes from the connection between weaving and goddesses of night, and also the spiders. And they had Shadow Lady here for her nexus of the Plutonians. Quite fitting. I'll just stick with that. So loading up in-game here, I put them in an underground starting location. Look at all those spiders. Yeah, it looks, good. looks pretty cool. Again, it's pretty subtle, the race transformation. Looks like they have a lot of ice powers, which is again an elemental conflation this game makes that I don't think astrology really makes. Ignore these terrible names for the cities. Next we have Sagittarius, which I gave fashion initiative and strength. They're just human. I gave them feudal because I think horses, uh, centaurs, they could be kind of normal. Plus, I didn't have too many other normal feudal factions here. I decided on mana absorbers because it gives them kind of electrical charge all around their body. Mana infused also looks electrical, but it's, it's a bit too elite, I think. Of course, the Tomb of Evocation. And here he is. Clearly, he's based on Thor and Zeus, uh, basically all the Thunder Gods. I really like this, I don't know, like, electric blue-green color as a contrast to the dark blacks and reds. Let's call him Storm Lord Thunderous of the Jovians. Jovian just means from Jupiter. Loading him in, look at his mighty axe. Looks pretty good. I added the fluffy feathers to resemble storm clouds. I really like the way this guy turned out with the banner. Gotta have horses, of course. Unfortunately, we do not have centaurs yet in Age of Wonders, which is surprising. Because if that were the case, Sagittarius would probably have to be centaur. Next is Capricorn. I went with tough and tenacious humans. I considered giving them industrious, but I don't really like the forceful dwarf aesthetic in this one, so I went with dark. Of course, they have to get great builders, and then I gave them Blessing of Midas. There's arguments to be made for Born of Stone or Steel Walkers, and I think really all of those they'll probably get down the line. Also, Joyous Revelers, for the association with satires or satyrs, half goat, half man. Between Tome of Rock and Tome of Enchantment, I kind of went with Tome of Enchantment just to like make it so there wasn't two Tomes of Rock. Here he is. Clearly he's based on Kronos. He's kind of got a Midas influence as well, 
and I think he turned out really good. I really like the gold and armor on top of the dark blacks. There's some clipping in the <laughs> beard right here. Earthshaper is quite relevant, but let's just call him King Cronus of the Saturnians. Loading up the game here. I like how they spawned in the mountains. Oh, look at that gold. That's really cool. I really like the way that turned out. Every other unit looks pretty cool too. Very nice. Next is Aquarius. I gave them keen sighted and arcane focus, like I often do. Elfkin. I think high culture is also good for them, being so astral. And I gave them astral wanderers, just like Cancer, because they're very airy and abstract. I considered giving them mana infused, arcane blood, but it looks too electric, too much like Sagittarius. So I s decided to go with a more airy, gassy aesthetic. Actually, between Warding, which is Gemini, Astrology, Evocation is Sagittarius. Cryomancy really doesn't fit. I think Astrology makes the most sense. Here he is. He's based on, of course, Uranus, but also on Aether, and I named him as such. I think in the base game, the best you could do is Lightning Orb, but Waterbender is actually pretty good for the Water Bear. It's Astralord's pretty good name. <laughs> But I'll call him Skyfather Aether of the Uranians. Loading up the game. They're like the most astral of all of these factions. And they came out pretty good. I really like the way that looks. Very ghostly and spacey. All the units look pretty good too. I really like Astral Wanderers. I think it's a good effect in this game overall. And at last we have Pisces. I went with humans with fast recuperation and fast initiative. I decided on barbarian just to get that kind of wild sea vibe as close as I could. I feel like they really need a sea expansion for this game. I feel like you should have an entire underwater world like Atlantis in this game. It would fit really well. Same as the mechanics of the underground, honestly. I really couldn't think of a race transformation that'd be good for them. I considered maybe mana absorbers or mana infused to imply the kind of storms of the oceans and seas. I even thought of erratic physique, but overall I think maybe they'll just have to be what they are. The Tome of Tides is super important mod that I got to get the vibe down, otherwise it'd be cryomancy and I just don't feel like that's good enough. Water is pretty absent in this game and it really shouldn't be. Now, I could make him a waterbender just like Aquarius, but in, for the sake of variety and for the theme of Poseidon and Neptune, which I based him on, I think he should probably get something approximating his trident. Now, they don't have anything like a trident, unfortunately, but maybe this cryomancy will work. At least it's a little more on theme. Let's call him Sea Lord Oceanus of the Neptunians. Loading up the game. I got him right on the sea coast here. That's pretty nice. Nice rich blue. Yep. Looks, <laughs> I guess, the same. Looks pretty good. I don't know what this poison stuff is. I think it's because the Tome of, of Waves gives them some nature toxic powers. Again, out of theme. I don't think they would have much to do with that. They should be more like waterbenders, honestly. They're definitely a faction that should spawn underwater, I would say, whenever that expansion comes. Here they all are. All 12 Zodiac factions. There you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed doing this. I do this kind of thing in a lot of games. What I would really like is a map editor so that I could really customize these factions and where they're from and where they're at in the map. And I wish there was more features to allow you to control the entire progression of a faction. Let's say an AI that you're not playing as, but you want them to go in a certain direction. It would really go a long way to make this game, I think, more useful for someone like me who 
does a lot of world building. Like and subscribe if you like more of this kind of thing. Feel free to leave any comments of what you think they should be.